Hi guys, thanks again for visiting us at RS Aquaculture. So I've been getting a lot of questions from my clients saying that, you know, I have a biofilter install. Why am I not being able to cope with my ammonia systems despite having all of this high-tech mechanical filtration and biofiltration? So in this video, I'll highlight some of the problems that typically faced by some of the operators out there and to show you some of the remedies in which how do you run your biofilter in a more consistent manner. So thanks guys for staying around. So for this example, I'll actually be using the crab unpacking process in which crabs are transported long distance as an example. By the way guys, if you really like our content, do like and subscribe to our channel so that you can get timely updates on our newest videos and information. All right. So here we have an example on which when we just stock crabs that just came away from long distances in the RAS systems. As you can see, during the first day, the ammonia is quite high, water gets to be quite turbid, despite all of the RAS systems are already in operation. This is because the crabs tend to poop and pollute the water in a very efficient manner, and your biofilters are not being able to keep up with the excess loading. So this is what happens after one day, you know, the water tends to clear up, your mechanical filtration are working, but as you can see, your biofilter as a result are able to process down the weight of ammonia and converting to NO2. And this is after the third day, and you can see ammonia and NO2 all going down to zero. What tends to be forgotten by most operators is that the filters are actually also a biological process. It means that the biological filter cannot responds very quickly to high surge in load. Right? So when you have huge incomings of crabs at the same point of time, what tends to happen is that the biological filter are not being are not being able to respond as quickly as it would. So usually you have adjustment period of two to three days, only which you can start to clear up the water as you see over here in this video. However, this is not to say that this only would only happen when you have huge volume of crabs that are incoming to the system, but it also happens when you overfeed. So for example, if for whatever reason today you decided to feed your crabs double the volume or triple the volume of its previous day, what will tend to happen is also there will be a spike in ammonia that is happening. Despite that you have already all of the filtration systems in place, such as a protein schema. Because a protein schema and a sand filter, essentially they are both mechanical filter. And they tend to respond well with higher surge loading. But the bottleneck is usually, when it comes to breakdown of ammonia and NO2, is usually due to the biological process, which needs a bit of time to adapt to the new organic load or the organic pollutants that are available in the water. And this problem is, doesn't only just affect a clear water system, but also a biofilm system, because it is also using microbes to break down the waste. Any temporary increase or large increase in organic loading will often lead to instability. So I hope you enjoy and learn something about how the biological process works and how does it move waste and how to operate in a safe and efficient manner. And I hope to see you again at Rasa Kakauja. Till then.